Magandang araw sa inyong lahat. Andito ulit si Kuya Matinio ngayon at nandito kayo ngayon nakatutok sa ating online children Bible study. And uh, welcome sa lahat ng mga nanonood sa uh, sa kanilang mga bahay or dito sa Facebook. And um, I hope na maging masaya ang ating, uh, uh, ang ating program ngayong araw na ito. Okay? At uh, before tayo mag-proceed sa ano mga gagawin natin, tayo muna ay hinda ating mga puso at ating mga boses. Tawagin natin ang ating song leader ngayong araw na ito. At uh, uh, tayo ay umawit ng papuri para sa ating Panginoon. Let's sing Silent Night. Ready? Sing! Silent Joy to the world, the Savior reigns. 
Just let men their souls employ White fields and floods, rocks, hills and plains Repeat the sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy Repeat, repeat the sounding joy He rules the world with truth and grace And makes the nations prove the glory of his righteousness and wonders of his love and wonders of his love and wonders wonders of his love Thank you song leaders sa magandang awitan and united sa amin ngayong araw nito and um, I hope na kumanta tayo ng buong may galak at buong puso tayo kumanta ng papuri para sa ating Panginoon. Okay? At before tayo mag-proceed ulit Uh, tayo muna yung manalangin, pikit natin ang ating mga mata, tungo natin ang ating mga ulo, and let's pray. Panginoon, ama namin dakila sa lahat, tinataas at pinupuri po namin ang inyong pangalan, Panginoon. Maraming salamat po, Panginoon, sa panibagong araw na inyong binigay, Panginoon, sa amin. Salamat po, Panginoon, sa pag-iingat at pagagabay, Panginoon, sa amin sa pang-araw-araw namin mga ginagawa. And thank you, Lord, sa pag-lead. And thank you po, Panginoon, sa inyong pagmamahal. Wala po kami dito, Panginoon, kung... Wala po kayo, Panginoon, na dyan na nagmamahal, Panginoon, sa amin. And um, I pray po, Panginoon, na bigyan niyo po ng strength ang bawat isa, Panginoon. Bigyan niyo po ng wisdom, Panginoon. And naway makapakinig at makapag-focus po, Panginoon, kami sa uh, aming, dito sa OCBS, Panginoon. And uh, i-guide niyo rin po, Panginoon, ang mga teachers po, Panginoon, and ang mga bata po. Patawad muli, Panginoon, sa aming mga kasalanan. At uh, kami po yung nagpapalinis, Panginoon sa inyong harapan, at uh, binabalik po namin ang pasasalamat at papuri, Panginoon sa inyong pangalan. Ito lang po aming dal amin dalangin sa Panginoon ni Jesus. Amen! Ating ihanda ngayon ang ating mga mata, dahil ngayon ay, ma ay mapapanood natin ang inyong mga gawang Memory Verse Video and Arts and Crafts. Okay? Please play the video. and fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks, and he was a Samaritan. Luke chapter 17 verse 16, and he fell down at his face at his feet, giving out thanks, and was a Samaritan. Luke chapter 17 verse 16. Luke 17 verse 16 and fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks, and he was a Samaritan. Luke 17 verse 16. Luke 17 verse 16. And he fell down on his face and at his feet, giving him thanks, and he was a Samaritan. Luke 17 verse 16. And he fell down at his face on his feet giving him thanks and he was a Samaritan. Luke 17 verse 16 Luke 17 verse 16 and fell down on his face at his feet giving him thanks and he was a Samaritan. Luke chapter 17 verse 16 and he fell on his face at his feet giving him thanks and he was a Samaritan. Luke chapter 17 verse 16 Luke chapter 17 verse 16 and fell down on his face at his feet giving him thanks and he was a Samaritan. Luke 17, 16. 
what he fell on his feet giving him thanks he was and he was a Samaritan Luke chapter 17 verse 16 and fell down on his face at his feet giving him thanks Luke chapter 17 verse 16 Thank you so much kids for participating sa ating mga activities dito sa ating OCBS every Wednesday and every Saturday. I hope and I pray na uh, patuloy pa rin tayo na mag-participate, maging consistent tayo sa pag-participate sa ating mga activities. Dahil hindi natin to ginagawa para lang sa sarili natin, ginagawa natin to lahat para sa kapukuli ng Panginoon. Okay? At uh, pumunta na tayo sa ating main part ng ating program. Wala iba kundi ang storytelling. Okay? At alam kong red na rin kayo at excited na rin tayo. Kaya ano pang hinihintay natin, tawagin natin si Ate Kisha na siya ang mag-storytell mag sa ating ngayong araw na ito. At ingahan natin mga puso at ating mga tenga dahil ngayon ay mapapahinggan natin ang isang storya na ibabahagi ni Ate Kisha. Hi, it's Ate Kisha. And if you remember, for the whole month of November, we have been learning how to be grateful. Today, I have yet another Bible story. But first, let's thank God for another opportunity to learn more about His Word. Let's close our eyes and bow down our heads and let's pray. Lord God, thank you for this day that you have given us. Thank you once again for bringing all of us here, and we thank you for giving us your word. Please help us to listen, and may we apply what we learn in our daily lives. I pray that you continue to help us grow and be more like you each day. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Our story for today comes from the book of Matthew, chapter 14, verses 13 to 21. When Jesus heard 
was that John the Baptist had just been killed. He went aboard a ship into a desert place. Even then, a large number of people who heard how Jesus heals the sick went on to follow him to the desert place. When Jesus saw the people, he had compassion on them and healed their sick. When evening came, Jesus' disciples asked him to send the people away. This is a desert place and it's already late. Send the crowds away so they can go to the villages and buy themselves some food. Jesus replied, They do not need to go away. Give them something to eat. We only have five loaves of bread and two fish, the disciples answered. Jesus said, Bring them here to me. Jesus then commanded the people to sit down on the grass. What do you think Jesus did next? Jesus took the five loaves and the two fish and looked up to heaven. He gave thanks and broke the loaves. Jesus gave them to the disciples, and the disciples gave them to the people. They all ate and were satisfied, and the disciples picked up twelve basketfuls of broken pieces that were left over. Five thousand men, not including women and children, were able to eat. Wow, what a miracle! We receive countless blessings that we should thank God for. And one of these blessings is the food that we eat. Just like Jesus, always pray and thank God for the food before you start eating. You know why? Because we need to acknowledge that God provided all the delicious and healthy foods that we eat. It is God who puts food on the table and into our tummies. We should be grateful for all the food that we eat. And yes, that includes the food we might not like. Even if we think it's too few or insufficient, like five loaves and two fish for thousands of people, we need to be thankful even for the little things, because God always provides enough and even more. Let us now go to our memory verse. Our memory verse for today is Ephesians 5.20. Giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Ephesians 5.20 Let's read that again. Ephesians 5.20 Giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Ephesians 5.20 Don't forget to film yourself reciting our memory verse and send your videos to Sir Cedric Satira. Remember kids, we should thank God for our food. Not just our physical food that we eat, but also our spiritual food. That's why we pray before eating and before our Bible lessons. Did you notice that? So now, thank you for listening to our Bible story. So until next time, bye! Thank you, Ate Keisha, and thank you, kids, sa inyong pakikinig kay Ate Keisha ninyo. And thank you, Ate Keisha, sa pag-storytell sa amin ngayong araw na ito. And I hope, kids, na marami tayong natutunan, marami tayong mga nais sa puso na lesson dun sa kwento na yun. Okay? At ang ating main verse for today, eh, walang iba na kundi ay nanggaling sa uh, book, of, book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 20. Kayo, ulitin ko po. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 20 
giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Ulitin ko po, Ephesians 5 verse 20, giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? At uh, tayo ngayon ay dumako na sa ating arts and craft. Taas ang kamay kung sino ready na. Okay, mukhang ready na lahat. At dahil ready na lahat at excited na ang lahat, tawagin natin si Ate DA na siyang magpapa-arts and craft sa ating ngayong araw na ito. Kaya ano pang hinitay mo Ate DA? Please come in. Hello kids, I am your Ate DA and I will teach you arts and crafts for today. The materials needed for this artwork are 5 colored bond papers and the size as long as the sides are equal. I recommend 15 by 15 centimeters, glue, yarn, puncher, or you can also use scissors, and pen. The first step is to fold the paper half along both diagonals forming a letter X. Rotate the paper in this position, then fold the top corner to the middle and fold the bottom corner to the top. Now, let's fold half of the bottom edge to the middle. Turn the paper over and fold these two corners down. Do the same on the lateral corner. Now, let's glue them. Then, write down our verse of the day, and on the other hearts, write down the things you are grateful for. Let's make a hole on both upper sides of the heart. You can use a puncher or scissors. Remember, be careful with the scissors and ask your parents for help.
Lastly, insert the yarn on the holes and make sure to put the heart with verse of the day at the middle. Is our artwork of the day. You can also add designs as much as you want. You can put your artwork on the wall of the room to remind you that there are a lot of things that we should be thankful for. That's all for today. Goodbye, kids! Thank you, Ate DA, sa pagpapa arts and crafts sa aming ngayong araw na ito. And I hope, kids, I hope and I pray na mas dumami and mag mas maging consistent ang bawat isa and mas dumami tayo na dito sa OCBS and I hope kids na patuloy pa rin tayo mag-participate sa ating mga activities dito sa ating OCBS okay? at uh, tayo muna yung magsiawit muli tawagin natin ang ating song leader ngayong araw na ito at i-ready na muli natin ang ating mga puso at ating mga boses dahil tayo ngayon ay magsisiawit ng papuri para sa ating Panginoon Let's sing Peace Like a River I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. Thank you for that wonderful song, and let's proceed na sa ating closing prayer. Okay? Pikit natin muli ang ating mga mata, at, at itungon natin ang ating mga ulo, and let's pray. Panginoon, ama namin dakila sa lahat, tinataas sa pinupuri po namin ang inyong pangalan, Panginoon. Maraming salamat po, Panginoon, sa aming mga natutunan ngayong araw na ito. And thank you po, Panginoon, sa pag-guide, Panginoon, sa amin dito sa aming um, program na to, Lord. Uh, kayo po ang siyang... Bahalang magbigay pa po sa amin ng strength, Panginoon. And, uh, uh, kaya na po siyang bahalang mag-ingat, Panginoon, sa amin lahat na aming mga gagawin pa sa mga susunod na araw pa, Panginoon. And, I pray po, Panginoon, na, uh, um, ingat, alisin niyo po, Panginoon, or ingatan niyo po kami, Panginoon, na mahawa po, Panginoon, sa virus na umakalat. And, um, yun lamang po, Panginoon, at binabalik po namin ang pasasalamat at pupuri, Panginoon, sa inyong pangalan. Ito lang po ang dalangin sa Panginoon Christ Jesus. Amen! Okay, thank you so much kids sa inyong panonood sa ating OCBS sa ngayong Saturday. And I hope na magkita-kita ta tayo face to face kapag uh, medyo maluwag-luwag na. Okay, okay na. And uh, pag-pray lang din natin na uh, uh, humupa na yung 
cases dito sa Philippines na sa ng COVID-19. Okay? Uh, see you again, kids. See you next time. And see you next week pala. Wednesday, eh, lagi po natin tatandaan, meron po tayong OCBS every Wednesday and every Saturday. Yun lang po, kids. And thank you so much. And God bless. Lagi po alam mo. Bye-bye.